Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! Chip has a fucking Honda cast. 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 Fuck yeah! You just use a computer or the phone. I have an iPhone I like, but I don't want to use it for everything. Can no, you no, that? Mike, the phone is better. The phone is a lot better. Don't use the computer. Uh, the Thank you, Chip. Oh, God damn it, Chip. I said, oh, there it is. Hold on a minute. Let me put my real background. Hold on a second. Fucking stupid Norton used the computer before and left his background. He thinks it's cool because it was his Scarface. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> kisser. The Hold on one yours. second. Why don't you Let's, be nice to Jim, Chip? Because you don't have to live with him. It's easy to say when you're over there in Los Angeles. Oh, Jim's a good guy. Fucking watching him eat every day. Look at my neck. Thanks to fucking Norton. Oh, we've all put on some weight in, in quarantine. You know, it's to be expected. I, I, res I understand that, but I shouldn't have to put on weight because of him. At least I should be able to enjoy the food. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the show, milady. What? Nice to make your acquaintance. Now, how do you say, is it Fi Fi Dosh? Uh, it's, it's Fifi Dosh, Chip. That, okay. that's, a good, that's a good try, though. I always enunciate him properly. Okay, now, Brian, welcome back to the program. How you doing, Chip? Thanks for having me. Oh, is any better? It would be a sin. Uh, Zia, uh, what's happening? I, 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 everything's going wrong over there. It, it doesn't look right. We got a it, new... It's horrible, Chip. I'm sorry. I don't have a background. I'm not bringing my most professional self to the Chip Chipperson show, and I'm really ashamed. But damn it, babe. Yourself you bring yourself to you. That's the important thing. Oh, thanks, Mike. Wow, I mean, Mike coming in here. He with... sure does. I mean, there's never been a whiter night. That's what I like. He <laughs> swooped right in on that horse and rescued you. That's what I needed. nation of knights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike, I think it looks good with the phone. Don't let anybody kid you. I like that you're just a little narrow rectangle. This is nice. <laughs> Thank you, Chip. Oh, perfect. how's that? Am I, am I a bigger rectangle now or a smaller one? No, nah, you look perfect. <laughs> now, does everybody know everybody? Fifi, this is your first time on the program. Um, did you meet Brian and did you meet Zia? Did you meet Mike? I, I did just yet. Hi, guys. I'm Fifi. Nice hey, to meet you. Hi, Fifi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Welcome. <laughs> okay, cool. So, Mike, what's been up with you? We haven't talked in quite a while. Well, I've been... Uh, somebody tried to catfish me recently. What? Tried? Yeah, yeah, what happened? I, uh, I don't know, because every time a smoking hot woman befriends me and has like no friends and she's from like 8,000 miles away from New York and asks me, am I single and I'm looking to get married? I know it's a catfish. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a harder one to fool than most. You know, I got to be honest. I got catfish like that where I was talking to the girl and she wasn't the girl in the picture. You know, Whoa. I got a picture from a very pretty girl and then the. Uh, I realized like that this girl is not the girl. The girl in the picture was like real pretty, had a bikini, nice hooters. And this woman was probably about 525. She was a heavy girl. And uh, it started to dawn on me. I'm like, wait, this is not the girl in the picture. But by then I was like six months into the relationship and she was kind of living with me. So I was like, I guess I got to make the most of it. Wait, you didn't realize it when you first saw her that she wasn't the girl in the picture? No, she told me to put on a, like a, uh, she told me to put on my fucking COVID mask over the eyes to protect myself. Did so you I have kinda, another one over your mouth? One over my <laughs> mouth and one over my eyes. Yes, I did, babe. But did you consummate that relationship, Chip? Oh, she Question. wasn't in the door five minutes. Oh, yeah, we no. consummated. Sure, she, sure. She, she, she ripped you apart like a steak. Yeah, she did. I mean, obviously, I was fucking <laughs> nude when she walked in. So now, Fifi, where are you? I'm here in Los Angeles, Chip. It's, you know, cloudy, and I'm just, yeah, out here in the West Coast. Having who, by the way, I meant to say, that woman sounds like she has the same body type as your lovely mother, Dolores. Like, do you think there's anything to unpack there? You know, that's a funny thing you say that because I was feeling her and she just said to me, why do you keep saying ma? And I was like, wait, wait hold on a second, babe. You know, oh, no, I was rubbing her calves. My mother's got marvelous calves. Mike, do you like a lady with big, thick calves? I like that. Me too. I like someone with a little, you know, some calfitis. When you hold, like if you're making love and like you, she's laying on her back and you're holding her legs up. I like when you can't even get like half your hand around the ankle. That's what I like. Like when you got to put your hands like that. Oh, you the, like cankles. Just a big oh, old heifer. Sounds like a cankles yeah, thing. Big old heifer cankles. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I like that. <laughs> Love a big, heavy, thick, thick ankled woman. Almost barnacles. 
No, barnacles are on the side of a boat. A cankle is oh, on a, okay, a Ruben S. woman. For a second. So, Zia, how come you have a background? God damn, you're embarrassing me in front of our new, our new I friend. I know. I hate it, Chip. I'm sorry. It just doesn't want to work. I don't know why. It's, so I pull it down. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the it's, green screen. It is. Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks great. But yeah, I've seen the magic work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is everybody seeing behind the curtain. Um, but when I turn the background on... Yeah, go ahead. Turn the background on. Hey. Oh, now it works. Piece See? of garbage. Yeah, yeah I love that. What, I just needed the, the magic of Chip. All That's you needed is to be encouraged. Oh, is that what that oh, is? Okay. Is that a game? Uh, it's a game and movies, and there's a new movie coming out in like two days. Really oh, hyped nice. for it. Yeah. Did, I, did, I beat, did I beat up bullies, I hope? Uh, they, no, they, it's just, it's basically a tournament um, oh, okay. And I saw some of the fatalities in the movie, and oh my god, it's gonna be good. They had to put you in the game, Chip. You know what, babe? I don't disagree. I don't disagree because, like Mike, I'm a person who likes to beat up bullies because I was well, bullied. <laughs> oh, I'm very, very sorry to hear that. What happened to you? I know. I was one time. The kids always told me, "Hey, go ahead. This will make your breath smell fresh." And it was like that weird hockey puck thing in a urinal, oh. and they made me eat it. I had, oh. a, I had to eat the whole bag of them. Well, it got me very. Th did it work? Did you think it was? Candy? Yes, it did actually. It's funny you should say <laughs> that, but I got a couple of dates after. I don't want to say nothing, you know. Oh, what, no. wait, what's that, Mike? Go ahead. Talk did, to me about you, bullies. Did you think you know Mortal Kombat? Right? Is it as good as Cobra Kai? I've never. I'd never seen Cobra Kai. No, it's you just like it, high school. It. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's very realistic. Just like high school, that sounds like where I, what I want to watch. <laughs> yeah, there's like, I, I used to and always get engage in like karate fights and whatnot and shit like that. Brian, did you fight a lot in school? Uh, I didn't. I think I had maybe one fight in, within high school. And you know what? It was with a guy who only had one hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I hope you won. I kind of won, but I mean, it, it was like it was it was cut off at, at the right wrist, and he was a righty. And that stump hurts more than a fist because it doesn't give. Oh, he could still fight with it. Oh, yeah. And he did well, with it. And he did. That's Who's the thing? Bullies don't back down. They like to fight. What, amputees? <laughs> Is that what you said? You said bullies. <laughs> oh, bullies. <laughs> but if someone's got one hand, you know that the other hand is fucking strong. And you know they've learned to adjust. Right. So that other oh, piece yeah. is coming in twice as fast. Who started the fight, really Brian? Uh, I feel like I did. We were playing indoor soccer in gym, and I kind of checked him a little hard and knocked him to the ground. And then once we got into the locker room, we started fighting. Yeah. Oh, no. I never liked soccer. No. Oh, well, Not fight even match, taking, right? a, taking a girl and just giving, you know, socking her? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you said. An old one. <laughs> no, no I, mean fight, the, I mean, I mean, S-O-C-C-E-R. Gotcha. Okay. My mistake. Now, let me ask you something, Fifi. What do you do out in Los Angeles? I'm a comedian out here, make videos on TikTok and uh, just, you know, just started transitioning during the whole quarantine. So I'm not doing shit other than just growing these tits and waiting to get my vagina installed. Not to oh. make it vulgar. But no, out. please. We're going to cut that That's language out. out. Oh, growing Sounds tits. Good to me. When you said growing tits, Norton's ears perked up. Oh, me too. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask, how do you, how do you grow tits? Please help. <laughs> Come on. <You> just... <laughs> Oh God, you just, you just get your estrogen shots and you sit there and you, I don't know, you know, pray to our Lord for just bigger tits every day. And you go, Enjoy the thing you do is, what's that? and you go Enjoy look at process. pictures of your grandparents to see what kind of like tit genetics you have in your family. So you're looking like at like old little house in the prairie tits from like 1848. <laughs> so wait, does your grandmother have big tits? Normally it's the second time someone's on before I ask that, but I'm dying to know. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So now how big do you want? Do you have a, a size that you're like, that's the goal? I'm shooting for like a, you know what? I'm shooting for a B. I'm, I'm Midwestern. I don't ask for a lot out of life, you know? Oh, okay. So let me ask you, because I happen to like, I'm fucking like, I like, like fucking like double H. I think of course it's perfect. You do. H. Yeah. Big <laughs> hold like babe. You know, well, that. That, that's way too much. No, but that's what I like. Cause I'm a guy's guy, Brian, right or wrong. Uh, you're hundred percent right. Thanks, Brian. So, okay, you just, wait, you just started? I don't know much about you. I just know that everybody likes you. Yeah, uh, yeah. I started just transitioning right before the lockdown. So I just haven't been doing shit other than just turning into a lady during the whole time. It's been, I feel like I've been like locked in a room while I turn into a werewolf. It's fucking bizarre. Like, dude, you like it? 
You like it? Oh, I fucking love it. Being a guy sucks shit. I was the most miserable, angry dude in my life. You ever seen? Well, now, wait, terrible. everybody hates white guys, so you're... Oh yeah, step up. I picked a hell of a year to no longer be a male comedian in LA. It was a rape right. city up here for all of 2020. <laughs> I feel like I really dodged a speeding train on that one. Brian, I don't feel like a white white guy that much. You don't? That's- do I look like a white white guy? Or I could I could pass for other people, right? No, you look almost like no, you look a little like the alien in arrival, if anybody <laughs> saw that. <laughs> You look like the old Indian grandpa that just sits in the back of the restaurant, like peeling carrots angrily. I'll take, I'll take that. Thank you. That's, that's cool. Thank you. Because I thought I thought I looked like Floyd the Bomb from the Andy Griffith show. That's why I got these glasses now. More oh, like, a little more bit. Like the, more like the preacher in Poltergeist too. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Well, God. Well, may, may, maybe uh, <laughs> what's his name? Harvey Keitel and the Irish. I love that movie. Yeah, but I wouldn't go to Harvey Cartel Road, I don't think. I would be more to Poltergeist. Pre- God is in his holy temple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, could, you could get some girls online with that. Yeah, you sure could. I'm going to try my best, one. Brian. Thank you. You have a great beard, Brian. I love that. Oh, thank it you. It looks awesome because I try to grow a beard, but it would what take happened? me like 20 years. I don't know. I'm not genetically hairy. Oh, okay. That's why I like you. Nice, smooth backside. <laughs> How'd you know that, Chip? Because I've seen Mike. He passes out a lot. He's got apnea. He'll <laughs> fall asleep on his stomach, and I'll just go in the back and check out his rectum. I'm like, there's not a hair on this little mug. Jim, can you? Get, I mean, Chip, curious. can you give me a hat like that? I love that hat. Yeah, sure, Camp. Don't call me that name though. That's very. We're gonna beat that out, Andrew. Oh, Chip, could you give me a hat like that? But then it have a large size. It's not without it, right? Yeah, we'll see. I'll be. I'll cut this in half. We'll fucking glue a couple <laughs> of them together or something. I don't know, but you know, we'll get you a hat. <laughs> All right, so Fifi, now you just started transitioning. I didn't know that. Uh, what what finally made you go, fuck it, I'm going to do this? Oh, it was just so fucking miserable. And like my comedy was just the most angry, just like, God, every, like every fucking set I was doing, it's just like, what's wrong with that guy? And it's just like, yeah, enough is enough. Like, it's just time to be happy, you know? That's the key to life. You're so yeah. right. Is your comedy changed a lot since you started transitioning? Oh, fuck yeah. I don't know what to do anymore. It's just, I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm just like up there at the comedy store being like, so I've been learning how to embroider. Isn't it nice doing nice? <laughs> no one wants to hear it. I'm not talking about child rape anymore. You know, were you talking about that a lot? Uh, you know, a, a more <laughs> enough to raise a flag. Certainly. Yeah. Well, yep. Yeah, sometimes call from the FBI, a visit. Yeah, like, exactly. Hey. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, that's awesome, though, because men are usually way angrier than women are. Well, what the sometimes. fuck makes you say that? Yeah. <laughs> I, hold on, Brian. See what you just did right there? That's what he's talking about. Oh, I wanted to get you going, Brian. I like breaking ball chops. I think you're cool. Thank you. It was, Your camera you is scented perfect. Good. Thank you. I think I met you at uh, Kumi's show, right? Yeah. Yeah, a while ago. I do a show. So yeah, fun. I saw you at, at Anthony's place. Yeah. Did you guys yeah, argue? No, we had a good time, actually. Oh, okay. Just making sure. There's making never sure any friction at Compound Media. Are you crazy? That is true. It's a place <laughs> of healing. <laughs> so let me ask you, Fifi, are people nice to you? Have people been crass? You know, people are all right. Like, I spent I spent a good chunk of 2020 just, like, I got... Because, like, L.A. was getting, like, frightening for a while, and I'm, like, not about to... Like, I was so scared of, like, getting being at a protest and getting thrown in guy jail so i just kind of like effed off and like spent some time in montana on a farm and i'm like i'm like a trans girl like light years away from passing at the time and like everybody was cool it really made me feel good about the world so you just wanted That's to kind of go and fucking ted kaczynski it a little bit on a farm somewhere in montana <laughs> yeah walking exactly the fucking woods no one's looking i understand it's a- it's a good place for angry screed. You get it, you know. And, <laughs> and then the I, Jews made me this way by with the five G transmitters under their yarmulkes. You know, oh, you sound like my mother, Fifi. Believe me. Oh, she says that all the time. Chippa, be careful. Guy Jail sounds like the name of a great porno. <laughs> guy Jail. Welcome yeah. to Guy Jail. Or a guy's name. I think I've seen that one. <laughs> or, or heavy metal band. Guy, Guy Jail. Jail. Yeah, Guy but you spell like J-A-L-E. His name is Guy Jail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. 
That's the last Jim, name. Did your mother have a lot of ideas like that? She seemed to have some maybe uh, some darker beliefs, you could say. Oh, I, she was a marvelous woman. She still is, Fifi. Oh, sometimes good. she would wake up. My mother would perspire a lot. And sometimes <laughs> she would wake up just stuck to the bed and she would scream, they killed our Lord, Lyle. And then she'd fall back to sleep. I didn't know what she was talking about. Did you, ever have, to, like, <laughs> did you ever have to put like powder under her folds or anything like that? I mean, you were a good, you good son, naturally. Yes, I was a very dutiful son. A lot of times my mother would sweat. And you know those little skin tags that would develop? She had a cluster. I lost count after 620 and i would always just a cluster of tags yeah and it kind of started right here and it went all the way down the side and around her belly they were adorable i loved them they were maz tags goodness gracious well what a good boy you were thank you yeah i love my mother very much (laughs) you were way ahead of the curve with body positivity chip that's right. I would always tell my mother, don't listen to what Reggie and Lamar and everybody else in the neighborhood has been saying. I'm, you know, don't listen to all the graffiti that scrawled on the garage door. You look marvelous, Ma. What kind of graffiti on the garage was door? It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they would just call a fucking, they would just drive by over. You ever hear a megaphone? You ever hear the word fucking hippo yelled into a megaphone? Oh. Yeah. Fucking hippo slut screamed into a megaphone. I fucking hate Whoa. that. Did yeah, you get a lot of now that's the name of a metal band. Hippo, Hippo slut. slut. <laughs> Hippo slut. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is. Now, Mike, now you let me ask you, you said about getting catfish. Talk to us about getting catfish, Mike. Let's straighten this right out. Well, I have very high standards when it comes to the relationship with a woman. I As really you know. should. And girls, this may sound bad and, and things, but I don't think any woman is out of my league. Because you know why? I don't put pe- anybody in the league. Because people put you in the league in a box, <laughs> the heck with them. A lot of people I find put other people in leagues, though. Yep. Especially c- growing up as a guy who wasn't, who didn't look like Brad Pitt, I feel like I might have been put into a league. Yeah. No, yep. you're not, Brian. You can, get any, you can get any woman you want on the planet. I know you could if you wanted to. Hmm. I, I like the attitude, one. Mike. I like the attitude. That's a can do attitude. Nobody puts Mike in a corner. And, and so. especially today, Chip, today, a lot of women will start it up with guys, too. They're, they're, I, I like a strong woman that will start it up. And you know why? Because if they do, it means it's something good and sincere. Who's so your how dream it, girl, Mike? Oh. Oh, no, that's a good question. Who's your dream girl? Because Z is looking. Like, so like- <laughs> my, my taste varies. Yeah, I love, like... Uh, you know, I the thing is that's a good question because I know what I want when I see it. Okay, so if you just see someone that that catches your eye and you're like, oh, that person, like How, that. What, oh, what's so a good? Follow them home. <laughs> I no, oh, so like yeah. pickup line that you want. I don't, I don't use the pickup line and say hi. That's it because okay, I don't like hitting on women because usually only idiots and trap boys do. Just don't hit on them. They get enough garbage, right? That's right. yourself with them. That's it. You walk okay. up and just go, hey, and let your and let your presence speak for itself. Let, let, let nature take its course. We'll make you a goddamn don't sound. Don't bother me. <laughs> you probably can't get that's any it. chicks when Chip is around, you know. That's right. It's very difficult because I do kind of steal the spotlight. Imagine. Yeah, Chip, I Chip joke my way. Me. No, but I don't like to. What's the word of fucking cock blocker? I don't like to cock block. I've actually one time Mike was in the mall talking to a girl. Right. And I walked up and I'm like, my lady. And she goes, hi. And I go, oh, shit, Mike. Sorry. Are you trying to fuck her? And then I walked away. It's so generous of you, Chip. That is gentlemanly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Un- unfortunately, she closed the door and she threw Mike out of the store, too. My apologies. Oh, she slammed the door in my face, guys. Yeah, I didn't handle it well. What kind of guys do you like, Fifi? You know, I kind of, I got to say, I, I kind of like, like, I bad know. boys. No, no, really. I don't think, yeah. like, you ever watch Star Trek, like mm-hmm. Riker as like my ideal guy, like a kind of a burly bearded dude, you know? I don't know who well, Riker is. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a 30 year old <laughs> reference I just dug up. So like <laughs> that one's on me. Hold on a second. Now, Brian's a pretty burly bearded dude. He's got a lot of beard. Yeah. Yeah. Is, he's got it, a is it the size like, that matters? Like Brian, I, f- I feel like Brian, I feel like you could like walk into a store and get like a really hot chick who like works in a place that sells like tarot cards and sage and shit. Like, oh, yeah, you do like all a, right in this. A little yeah. bit of wizardry. I got yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> if you, you look like an alt right a- Hagrid, you could be all right. <laughs> you, you just brought a good point up. I think I know my type a little better now. Ah. Hot hipster chicks, hot hipster chicks 
Okay. That that looked like a librarian. That looked like a 1920s flapper. Boy, somebody who doesn't like to put people in, you certainly are, you fucking, you don't believe in like, eh, I don't believe in putting people in a class. Boy, you really yeah, narrowed specific. that down. <laughs> yeah. People in leagues from a hundred years ago. Yeah. yeah. I want a girl who looks like fucking Jesse James with a club foot. That's what I like. <laughs> she looks like she was alive when James Polk was president. That's my guy. <laughs> I'm a big James Polk guy, all kidding aside. She did my book report like on him. Todd Lincoln a little bit. Oh, she you? was a crazy bitch, Mary Todd Lincoln. She was fucking nuts. I feel like Abraham Lincoln was a giant homo and he just covered it up by marrying a special needs lady. You think so? Why do you I say that? that? Yeah. Well, that he was gay? Yeah, he just married this retarded lady to cover it up. And like, I think that, I think her name was retard originally, but they just changed it to Mary <laughs> Todd to like stretch oh, it out. Oh, man. And, and, she came, and she came from Major <laughs> Coin. She was wealthy. <laughs> Oh, okay. They're not okay. going to teach you that in the history books. <laughs> no, I didn't. Th believe me, I was wondering why there was that fucking page ripped out of my book. I guess that's the part that was on. <laughs> that's what I come here to chip for, for good learning. <laughs> I'm telling you, you get the education that the schools yep. are scared to give you. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's absolutely it. I never heard that Abe Lincoln was gay. I did hear that. I heard he had like a really like squeaky, really femme voice. I've read that before. Oh, I wonder if that's why. What was his name? Jeff Day Lewis played him like that. Oh, Daniel Day Lewis. Ah, mm -hmm. my fault. Thank you. So, Mike, have you been on any dates or whatever? I know the pandemic has got to have you going fucking uh, crazy. You know what? I don't push it because, first of all, you know, it's been horrible. You can't really do anything now. The pandemic killed us. Yeah. But you know what? I don't. I don't go looking for stuff like that because when it just happened. Yeah, know, that's the you, best attitude. That's, that's just it. let it happen. Just kind of hang out in the house. Make it, not. make it organic. <laughs> Let's say, how's that been working out, Mike? Yeah, it's kind of a rough philosophy. Oh. You're like, you know what? Kick up my feet and my apnea mask, and hopefully they'll just come around. <laughs> they, they, they've been coming around pretty, pretty sparse. <laughs> yeah, I understand. They're probably scared of you, though, because they know that yeah, once but, they fuck you, that no other man will measure up. I'd, I'd rather have... To be honest with you, I'd rather have a ton of money in the bank than have a relationship right now. Okay. Yeah, Fine. sure. Yeah. I like living well. It would be better to live well for yourself before you do anything else. But what if you yeah. could be like Chip and have it all, you know? Babe, yeah. I didn't want to say it, but she's got a point. <laughs> you probably yeah. make a ton of money, don't you, Chip? <laughs> so much fucking cake, babe. I don't even like to say. <laughs> yeah. Chip brings in a lot of cake. What happens when I bring up money? Fuck yeah, a lot of cake for Chippa, <laughs> trust me. What do you spend it on, Chip? Oh, sorry. I get a little <laughs> drooly when I discuss money. That's what do I right. spend it on? <laughs> Fucking uh, Dogecoin. I just well, made money off Dogecoin. You, you, yep. Nice. You feel so. like that's yeah. a secure investment, do you? Yeah, I bought it at 30, fucking got <laughs> rid of it at 10. I'm like, that's exactly it. There's a 20 fucking cent difference. Thank you kindly. Well, you need something to, to, you need some losses to write, a, write off against all those gains, I'm assuming. That's there what I'm go. trying to say. Fuck yeah, property. I buy property. Where? Fucking Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a piece of fucking land in Scotland. One square foot. <laughs> that's Lord right, Trippin. babe. Oh, yeah, we all laugh now, but all of a sudden when they want to build a mall, I'll be like, well, that's my fuck your eminent domain. That's my square foot. They're going to have to pay a lot of fucking cake oh, for chip. Oh. <laughs> what, what if they just build around the, the square foot and there's just an empty plot of land in the middle of the mall? Oh, chip. You have to remind me. <laughs> Obviously, that's happened a couple of times. Oh, so I'm sorry. Yeah, but they just build right around it. And I got like one square foot in the middle of the mall that I can't get to because there's concrete around it. <laughs> Yeah. Remember sure. in, in Atlantic City, that uh, old lady who wouldn't move in the casinos built a hotel right around her little tiny house. That's Whoa. right. Is That's she still there? Uh, that was probably 30 years ago when she was 80 then. <laughs> oh, OK, cool. <laughs> so what happened? Is the house still there? I don't think so. I think they raised no, it. Right. They probably. It's horrible, you know, because. They were supposed to help revitalize those people over there, you know, come in with the casinos and they just screw them over. I know. Who would have thought that bringing gambling into a poor neighborhood wouldn't help it? <laughs> I was yeah, as shocked you know, as anybody. You know what, though, Chip? It's not just in gambling in poor neighborhoods. Yale University is like in the middle of the hood. It's horrible over there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So is Columbia, right up there in Harlem. 
I don't know how much been up there in a while. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I taught a course there in Yuma. Yeah. Yep. You well, you have you have like a doctorate in humor, don't you, Chip? Not officially. Like they always do the air quotes when they say that. But I kind of just come in and I'm like, you guys, you just gotta just go out there and be as funny as possible. Like stuff. Uh, like I thought you had a master's degree. I'm taking humor, notes. Chip. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. I appreciate the lot of confidence. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Well, how long was you in Montana for, Fifi? I was up there for about a month, just hanging out on a farm, just because LA was getting a little gnarly, and it was just oh, it was a huge. Is that really- where you're from? Yeah, originally. Yeah, it's well, I grew up in South Dakota, which so I'm I'm from those like little middle of nowhere states. But like, yeah, I had to L.A. was like way, way too much. And like all the comedians were raping everybody. So I'm just like, I got to get out of here. (laughs) Yeah, but uh, I I love that part of the country because I I wish that I was from a small town. I really I really, you know, New York is fine, but I I wish I would have grew up in a small town in the country. I like that kind of stuff. You sound like a Springsteen song. Love you. (laughs) It would have been fun. It's interesting. People are very nice. They're chill, laid back. People my are niece, very nice. My, People my, are chill and laid back. I had my, my first two. My, so. my niece is originally from New York, but she's living in Arkansas now. Hmm. How uh, do people ever embrace Springsteen? All of his songs are like, this is a song about a part of Jersey I wouldn't be caught dead in. I know. <laughs> and your yeah. radio always does talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> I instruct yeah. my driver to drive past the boardwalk. <laughs> yeah, here's an old to Camden. Nobody wants to hear that, Bruce. No. Damn it. So do you have a boyfriend out there in L.A.? No, not just yet. I kind of like just started like looking like a girl, which is, you know, debatable at this point and everything. But like, I'm sort of like, I just got vaccinated. So I'm like ready to hook up. I'm ready to do it. So now right, when you say hook you second back. Ooh. Yep, just I got my second vaccine earlier today. Have a go. Someone's to flirting. Yeah, yeah. No. Mike, you, you don't put I'm people in leagues. Mike has got his flirt on. Go ahead, no, Mike. No, <laughs> no, I just got my second one the other day, and it, it, the side effects were weird. For just a day, I was super exhausted. Yep. Yeah, I didn't feel anything. I'm do I'm doing all right. Oh, yes. good, good, good. So you're ready yeah. to get out for the dating scene and whatnot? Hell yeah, you know it. Are you on the websites or anything or the fucking, I was on a whole bunch of them. I was on like Tinder and Bumble and a few others. Oh yeah. I'm on there. I'm sure I'll run into Jim Norton on there. One of these days. Oh, probably will with his dumb smile. Fucking stupid smiling headshot fucking picture that nobody responds to. Makes me Does sick. He put his headshot That's a nice there. chip. I don't <laughs> no, but it's got that kind of a vibe to it. It should, oh. just, it should just say for inquiries, call and have his manager's number. <laughs> Chip, don't you think you can help Jim out, like hook him up with a couple girls? I mean, you get so many. I mean, you probably could, you know, you can get him some of your, some of your rejects, you know. Trust me, I've tried to help Jim out. Unfortunately, the rope would have taken us both. So I had to just cut it. <laughs> I was like, is there a way to get half the job done? Unfortunately, there wasn't. So now oh, let yeah. me ask you something, babe. Have you got like a lot of people like fucking hitting you up on the, on the uh, apps? Oh yeah. You know, and I'm like, I've been, it's weird. Like who hits you up? Like when you, like when people knew you as a man and then now you're living as a woman, it's weird who responds to it. Let's just say several of our colleagues have. So. Oh, and what do they do? Do they try to pretend like, Oh, I don't, I don't remember you. Or they just kind of go, Hey, what's up? It's me. You remember? No, it's more like, it's more like every like kind of like red pilled comic who's like, Oh, the trannies are doing this, that, and the other. It's like, okay, I'll see you in my DMS at 1 AM. Like, Oh, (laughs) Okay, they pretend they don't like something, but deep down. Exactly. Do they say inappropriate things? Oh, they just, they ask if you're smooth. They've asked if you've gotten the operation yet, which, you know what? Fair. You want to know what you're in, in for. A lot of girls don't like that question, though. A lot of girls are like, whoa, don't ask about fucking bottom surgery. Oh, I don't give a fuck. It's like we're, we're comedians talking about our penises and pussies is our bread and butter. I don't give a hoot. That's when are right. you getting it, does, the, uh, the operation? Oh, I'm not oh. getting the operation, babe. Nice. What are you talking about? Chip, Chip. <laughs> Damn it, babe. They wouldn't be able to turn your P.E.K.K.A. into anything. It's too big. Yeah. Yeah. Be like cutting down a redwood. Be a disgrace. <laughs> I mean, everybody jokes, but it's short. It's so fucking big one time I pointed at it. I'm like, what do you think? And the girl's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reaction you want. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so what are those questions real personal and bothersome? Because I've no, asked a I, lot of questions that girls don't like. I don't mean to. No, I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. And it's just sort of like, also, I kind of like making, I kind of like making people uncomfortable talking about it. Like, it's fun. So, <laughs> you know. 
get it. Do they what seem about- sometimes uh, like disappointed if you're like, oh no, I haven't had the surgery yet. I'm still pre-op. Are they, or, or it was the other way around. I'll tell you what, they're either disappointed or they're really excited that I yeah. haven't, you know? Oh, so do they now? Do they acknowledge they're excited to try to pretend that either way? Like, so have you gotten it? No. Oh, okay, good. Ten o'clock. You available ten? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Chip. <laughs> yep. And that. All right. Well, that's cool. That's cool that everybody. Mike, how about you? How would about me? I mean, let's be really honest. Would you want somebody to have a pecca or not have a pecca? I like non techers <laughs> All right. Yeah. We have people into leagues again. <laughs> we'll wink at each other. All right. I understand. Uh, well, how about I'm you, Gia? Have you ever had any gay experiences? Me? What's that? How about you, Gia? Have you ever had any gay experiences? I've, yeah, I've slept with women before. Hell yeah. Love yeah. it for you. I feel like for, for I, I guess anyone really, sexuality is something that's not, I mean, not for everyone, but it's pretty fluid. And I think you should just explore all of your options. Why not? Uh-huh. What'd you do? Uh-huh. What'd you do? <laughs> Jeez, I've told you about it before, well. Chip. Well, one time was at a costume party, and then another time was in the front seat of a car. Whoa. Yeah. Well, hold on a minute. Was it an Uber? Nope. Just just a car at a party parked in the parked in the driveway. Did you two kiss? <laughs> you want a girl with kissing? Doing some other stuff too, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> <Ear> chip. <laughs> do you remember what you were dressed as at the costume party? That's a I great do. question. I was a punk rock schoolgirl. <laughs> Whoa, oh, she is. Cool, this cool. is exciting. I'm, I'm yeah, what was she dressed week. as? I love this. It's fucking <laughs> Sid Vicious. She took your ear off. What was she dressed as? <laughs> she was she, like she was she was like a naughty librarian. Whoa, that's the woman I'm after. <laughs> she was oh, that's New right. York, Mike. Maybe you can find her. I actually don't remember her name. I was pretty drunk. <laughs> oh, okay. What kind of uh so that you like guys with beards kind of like you like a thick guy, like a thick wristed man. Oh yeah, like a guy who looks like he chops down trees, that kind of thing. Kind of like one of them in LA. Yeah, I guess like not. A right? type? What's that? Like a lump, like a big guy, like like a Paul Bunyan, like lump, like. Oh yeah, like a guy. big, like a big guy. You can like change a tire, which is oh. you know again out here in Los Angeles, it's slim. Oh, forget it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I could change a tire. It's called AAA. Mike, back to you. <laughs> I, I can partially change a tire. Yeah, I can flatten one. <laughs> and Mike, I didn't mean to jump in. No, I can partially change one. I'm okay with it. I haven't changed one in a long time. How do you now partially the... change a tire? Yeah, how do you partially? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, what do you do? You, you put it on and you forget to put the bolts. You go 10 feet, the fucking thing rolls off. <laughs> yeah, how do you partially change a tire? That's a good question. I love how there's like like a half square of dead air just right above Mike's head. Like you're, yeah. you're really you're really obeying the rule of thirds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like he's falling down a hole or something. Yeah, you look like oh, a look. screensaver, Mike. I, I got I got to get guy every bit. I got to get my just get a regular laptop and just go on the desk with it. It's probably better. Where yeah, I right think now? so. Yeah, where are I'm you? I'm down in my basement, but I'm on a, my, an iPhone. And I hate it. Really. How is it pitch? You look like a David Lynch movie behind you. It's just fucking <laughs> pitch black. Oh, it's a blue screen. A blue screen? Yeah. And what did you put up on, on the blue screen? How is it just, no, the, no color? It's, you know what? I got to get better. I got to get more lighting in here now. I disagree. I think it works nicely. Thanks. I, I feel comfortable. Very inviting. Having a great time in Very inviting. Yes, it is. That's a great place to have your throat cut. That's a great. Yeah. <laughs> you need just enough light to let people know that the screen is blue, not black. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says come on in like a color that you can't see blood out of. <laughs> oh, no. That's where he keeps all the women that he approaches. Does it? Oh, no, no. I'm the, the, ones, on. the ones from the 20s <laughs> and their librarians. And what was the third thing? Yeah, he keeps a big box of feet like Jerome Brutus. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, he was a foot fetish guy, Mike, yeah. a long time ago. He killed some ladies. All right, uh, so let me uh, now. What do you do on TikTok? I'm just doing comedy on there. You know, stand up got shut down for the longest time out here, and I'm just like, screw this. I can do this from my house, and it's just like the amount of the amount of people who watch me on that app. Like, it's like versus who would have seen me do stand up live. It's like crazy small wow. comparison like yeah, but how long, doing, how long are you doing how long are you doing stand-up for you know what i'm asking uh, me been... oh sorry oh, Beefy. Sorry. i had you met you i don't know i was doing it out here for about nine ish years or wow. so as a guy and then like 
you know, this happened. So it's like, all right, I'm a girl now. It's quarantine. Just get on TikTok. That's it. That's yeah, but let me ask you something. It, normally, you know, I started this in the early 90s, right? Mm -hmm. it, I think it normally takes like probably 10 years to get comfortable anyway, you, to, to really at least, right? Yeah. It takes yeah, a while. Definitely. Yeah. Right. It's a long, but you just got to love the, love the whole thing. That's the whole thing of it, you know? There's well no said. rush to it. That's right. You got to love it. The, I love California. You know? I wish I was doing comedy out there because it, it, it's so laid back out there. I don't know if laid back is the right word. Yeah, to, <laughs> I don't know. I think passive aggressive is more the better word. Yeah, Fifi really? yeah, is well, absolutely right. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I've been out there a lot, but I never lived there. And both of you lived there, so it's a yeah. lot different living there than just going out there. Definitely. Yeah. Well, like, the clubs are opening up in New York, aren't they? Like, you guys seem way more open than we are. Yeah, Yeah. they just started, the, like, I think the second it was a few mm. weeks ago. I'm not okay. doing clubs, though. I'm going right straight into arenas. Can no. they, I mean, they must have to add shows when you're doing arenas, Chip. I they mean, do, yeah. They're like, how, how many do you want to do for the garden? I'm like, I'll start off with two on a Thursday. <laughs> you know, they're they're, they're material, huh? Like, I, just I know a lot of professional out. comedians. Like, Sit up there with a notebook. Oh, yeah. What's going on with COVID? Fuck it. You know, something will come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking this the damn. Master of improv. Everybody's wearing a mask. But have you seen these masks? You know, I got like a whole bunch of ideas I'm going to do. What's everybody a surgeon or something? Then like during the applause break, I'll open the notebook again. Fucking Chip, come up. After the uh, uh, after this lockdown and all this COVID stuff, are you are you not fearful that there might be too much COVID related material? No, I got three okay, notebooks full of COVID jokes. I'm going to be like, yo, you remember that fucking time that Trump said something about pouring the bleach? How fucking nuts was that? Like, I'm going to say stuff like that. Oh, OK. Yeah, oh, you're going you're gonna to crush it, Chip. That's right. Do my Fauci impression. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Hope you crush it hard and you make Rich Voss follow you. Oh, please. Fucking Voss loves coming on this show. He begs. He still hasn't passed his audition. Oh. Piece Voss, of trash. Last, last, last he's week, a good Voss guy. You like, should have him on. I've had him week, on a couple times, but he's still he's still struggling. I'm I sorry, understand. Brian. What were you saying? Oh, I was now. gonna say if, if Mike had like a little rear view mirror with something dangling from it, he would be in the exact same <laughs> frame that boss was in last week <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's right last week we had jeff godfrey and fucking anthony comia and fucking voss and zia but voss was in a car and well, he was I, thought, a little... <laughs> I, th I thought voss was like more high tech than me no he is no. not <laughs> he's not more high tech than anybody so wait do I, a lot I of people really high tech no he's not at all do a lot of people watch you on tiktok babe yeah, I've got about, I made it to like 200,000 followers in like three wow. months or so. so Congratulations. It, thank you. It blew up pretty quick. I mean, like a bad video, not to toot my own horn, but like a poorly performing video is still like 20,000 views, which is, you know, that's awesome. more people than the 1 a.m. spots at the store I was getting. Yeah. I mean, like, Absolutely. I don't like to, I was, I don't even open my TikTok. Believe me, we're not comparing to nothing, but uh, I, I, I was doing quite well myself. Yeah, I'm well, sure. Yeah. Your whole link tree went viral. Yeah, that's right, babe. Thanks mm -hmm. for reminding me. The link tree did go viral. I don't know where the TikTok is, though. I had it. How do you spell it? Is it T-I-K? I guess so. T-I-K, T-O-K. It's it's a wonderful app, and I love my Chinese overlords. God bless them. <laughs> that's right. Got to be careful. The, the Uyghurs well, are a bunch of crybabies. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing on TikTok, Chip? Oh, fucking riffs. Uh, just being humorous in general. What's your best one? Your best riff on TikTok? Um, I, I was fucking doing uh, the song Charlie Brown. Okay. And You're I just, singing? <laughs> lip syncing. Oh, good. Okay. oh, that's going to go viral. Yeah. People like yeah. that. They like yeah. lip syncing. I don't I know it. if I still have TikTok, but I was a fucking sensation. That's a shame. Do you ever, do you ever wonder that you're too famous, Chip? Like, are you afraid of, like, not, you know, remaining down to earth and connecting to the people? You know, it's funny you say that. <laughs> but I've always felt the best way to be is to, ex to exhibit humility mm -hmm. around oh. the people. Like, don't tell people that they're garbage that you're standing on top of. Exhibit <laughs> humility. Like, Brian will come and say, like, he's doing Patreon, and I'll go, oh, how's that? going 
condescending at all. It's very yeah. encouraging. I like to be a cuz so Mike, how's your little joke? Aww. <laughs> It's appreciated. That kind yeah, because Brian, too. yeah, he's got like a bunch of people on Patreon. He's pretty fucking. How's Kevin Smith doing? How come he won't come on? He's doing well. Have you ever asked him? No. I, I'll talk to him about it. Yeah, I think, tell he, him. I think he would dig it. Chip I doesn't ask so. people. People ask Chip. You know what, Fief? Do you prefer Fifi or Fief? It's all good, Chip. Whatever, as long as you're calling me Chip. That is, that is, I to call you Chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking chip a said you uh, too quick. Walked into it. <laughs> Listen, no, but I, I don't. It's not that I like have to beg me, but I would like them to at least maybe come hat in hand and, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> hey, Lyle, I sure could use a handout. And I'll say, well, aren't you come on the show? I want him to grovel a little. A little bit of groveling. And I know Kevin is doing fairly well. For, is he still smoking cheap? That's all he does, Chip. Oh, yeah. He's a pothead, right? Yeah. Yeah, he has his own line of uh, a couple strains. Oh, well, yeah. Brian, how's he doing? With, how's he doing uh, health wise? I love him. I know he's, he's doing good. He looks great. Oh yeah, health wise, he's doing very well. Awesome. Yeah. He lost a I lot of weight. Myself. Thank lost God. A bunch bless of weight. I'm Beat glad the heart he's, so attack. he's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Thank God. How are you doing, Mike? Your heart was giving you a hard time. How you feeling? I just went to the cardiologist today. All my vital signs are great. He said I just got to. Keep you know doing what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you got to stay healthy. Drink that water. Have some. How's water. Colin doing, Chip? He had yeah, a heart I drink problem. A ton of water Who's that? Good. How's Colin doing, Chip? He had a heart problem, didn't he? You know, it's funny. I talked to Colin today, and I said, "Hey, would you like to come on the show?" And he fucking went like, "Hey, I fucking can't for that." <laughs> I was like, "I don't Did understand it." Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm fucking Colin. I'm fucking busy. But he was Spot fucking on. doing something. Yeah. Couldn't come on. He was busy. So on TikTok, you got a lot of followers. That's chill. Yeah, Are you on YouTube? It, I'm not. No, I'm not on YouTube at the moment. Like TikTok just is really, for whatever reason, that's where I found my people. If you how like long it take to get that many followers? Were you on there a while? I mean, I only started doing it in like Christmas. Wow. wow. That's so, all. That's incredible. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, like, it's funny because I was like, <clears throat> I was like a hair away from like quitting comedy altogether because I'm like, maybe this is just not what I'm supposed to do. And then I just started doing TikTok and I found a ton of people. So I'm like, Good. okay, you thanks. I feel like I'm not Everything crazy. happens for a reason because you know what? It got you to stay in this. Congratulations because never give up in this. Never. Mm-hmm. Hold uh-huh. on a second. I'm looking never, you up on TikTok. Up. It's never, the... never give up. Never, ever, ever, ever. I love this. Stay in too. this. That's what John Goodman said in the actor's studio. Oh. Some girl asked him what's the key to success. He goes, stay in it. You won't be giving you a chance. And he's right. Stay oh. in this. That's right. A girl told me that one time while I was in a cooter. She said, stay in this. But I didn't because I was a limper and it fell out. <laughs> oh. You didn't mash it back in? I tried to, believe me. <laughs> but I kept poking it with my nails and hurting it because I would <laughs> shove it all the way in. The abrasions. <laughs> I kept scraping it with my goddamn nails, Brian. Oh, you just oh. have vagina juice in your nails all day. I mean, no, it wasn't particularly damp. If you want the truth, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know they got wet, Fifi. I had no idea. Like these things wet and by themselves, because normally I'd have to. It would be like, oh, I'd have to go down there and. Puh. And fucking or rub coffee on it or something. Coffee. <laughs> yeah, I like coffee, man. Believe me, it keeps me going. What now? Hold on. What's your name on TikTok? Fifi. At Fifi Dosh. F I F I D O S C H. Just oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not on TikTok much anymore, but I was a real sensation when I was. Uh, I'm sure. Chip's a okay. sensation anywhere he goes. What's a sensation? <laughs> sensation. You said it wrong. But damn it, babe. Well, you're oh. a thin sensation. Thank you. My follow sensation. account must be off. I think that they fucking. Yeah, there's no way I only got 3000. That's got to be a mistake. Yeah, you got, you got to contact someone. That's that's outrageous. Yeah, well, you're, up... a, you're a national TV star. You are yeah. on national TV. Definitely. You had more than 3000. That's right. I fucking ran over Gilbert and Tim Dillon. They were all in my wake. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I don't want to be bitter about it. Oh, Chip. Uh, that's we all know who won, Chip. Yeah. Oh, come yeah. on. We yeah. all do. Yeah. Oh, come on. Who? The people's champion. Yeah. That's yes. right, babe. Somebody just won herself a fucking t-shirt. Believe me. 
<laughs> You're going to get a chip when, of some t-shirt for that one. Go ahead, Brian, what's up? I'll say when that happened, my wife and I were legitimately annoyed. I was more annoyed at that than any, any voting process that I've ever been uh, involved in. You think you were annoyed. You should have heard fucking stupid Norton on the phone when he found out trying to be magnanimous. Well, you know, fucking shut up, Jim. <laughs> it's the Hollywood machine, Chip. Yeah, that's what Jim uh, was thinking. It's the Hollywood machine. Instead of, nope, you lost again, titty. Oh, you, you don't call him titty, do you? No, titties. <laughs> actually, you're right. I pluralize it. Oh, well, glad we got that straight. <laughs> yeah, it fucking makes me sick. Kenny, oh. he's got one of these shirts in fucking large now instead of small and medium. He's just trying to grow into him. <laughs> anyway, are you nearsighted or farsighted, babe? Let's cut the let's cut the bull sugar. Oh, uh, I am nearsighted as hell. I'm blind as crap. Yeah, you know, Chip, Chip, I'd like to challenge you to say something good about Jim. I mean, do you think okay. you could do that? Uh, something good about Jim. He's punctual. That's, That's good quality. That's, That's good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He's uh it, he has a lot of pairs of socks. <laughs> He's ambitious. That's very thoughtful. Yeah. Yes, that is ambitious, Mike. But according to in fucking to Mark Anthony, that was not a good quality. Do you ever see fucking uh, what was it, Mark Anthony? He was ambitious. Brutus was an ambitious man. It's not a good thing. You're so highbrow, Chip. I mean, thanks, babe. Man of people, really. intellectual. You've got it all. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> You like By the way, I'm, I'm nearsighted as hell. I'm so blind. I oh, mean, oh. too. It's horrible. I can't, I can't. With these, I can't even, like, forget it. Can you see, Mike? I'm nearsighted, too. I'm horrible without these glasses. No, he meant because it's so dark in that room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normally, normally, even in the, Brian, even in the light, I have a hard time seeing it. I know, but you look like you're in a coffin. I, I feel like <laughs> because it's a fucking rectangle before you. I'm like, oh, poor Mike passed away. <laughs> it's like a no, shitty no. coffin where they can't even like pull you all the way to the edge. Yeah, they just kind of put you <laughs> half in well, and half your body's out of it. Yeah, they next have like a bunch of dead space in the open. Next, like... next time I go on ship, I'll have a, a like a, a shitty 1970s like Elvis painting, but the poker playing dogs in the background. Those are hilarious. Every time I would see it, I would say, Ma, could you believe this painting? We'd laugh together for an hour. <laughs> You know, speaking of Jim, I, I know that he had a comedy legend on his show, uh, Bob Newhart. Was wow. No wow. way you could get uh, get Bob Newhart to come on, uh, Chip. He only had him because I turned Newhart down. You did. I'm like, he's too old. What am I going to do with him? Uh, Fucking stammering. <laughs> no, no, no let Norton no, grovel. Don't, don't turn him down, Chip. He, he begged. He's, he's a genius and he's, he's a legend. Oh, yeah. Then you fucking talk to him. He tried to get on my show. I said, thank you. But no, Bob fucking hung up the phone. Well, <laughs> Chip's got bigger fish to fry. That's what I tried to <laughs> say, babe. I, like, yeah, I know a lot of people like it. He's like, well, I, I just I thought maybe I'm like that stammering jazz. Don't work with me, buckaroo. And I hung up the fucking phone. <laughs> you should have bought me on Joe Rogan soon. You should have bought yep. me with Emily, his, ex, his wife. His new wife is hot. I am going to be on Joe Rogan soon. I try mm -hmm. not to brag about that. But he's been begging me. I'm like, all right, I'll come on, help you. Ratings. <laughs> Fucking ratings are suffering or something over at Spotify. Yeah. His shows are real, uh, real long, right? Four hour, four hour. Is that going to be well, long enough for you? It depends. You know, I'm thinking maybe I'll go in for a little while. Maybe fucking Shankle can take 15 minutes. Mr. Mm -hmm. Hoggis can come in for 20 minutes and then I'll come back and save the fucking hole they've dug. That sounds, that sounds like a plan. Suited. Yeah. How is Uncle Paul anyway? Is he he's still uh, at large? I don't like him. I don't oh. like him. I, I do a lot of cameos, obviously. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's five to one to Norton's ratio. You don't know what humiliation is when fucking, <laughs> you know, we know who to fucking make the bucks in this fucking house is. And uh, everyone's asking for Uncle Paul, but I don't like doing him because I can't do his voice. Mm. Uh, that, that's Chippa. I can't do it. Uh, the, 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 I can't Chip, do you it. can do it. You just you got to find the time to do it. Nah, but I can't do the voice. I try. Well, you've probably got enough of your own, you know, your own cameos, Chip. I mean, you probably don't have time to be dicking around with these auditions and these impressions and stuff. That's right. A lot of times they'll, oh, my friend, it's Harvey's birthday. Could Uncle Paul say hello? I'm like, no, he can't. What are some of the stranger uh, requests that you've gotten on cameo? Um, they want me to wish someone like a happy birthday. What? 
I'm like, I don't even know you. <laughs> so a lot of times I'll do, like if I'm going to do a cameo, I want it to be people, you got to do a minimum of 15 seconds. So mine goes 17, 18 seconds without a doubt. I'll always give them the extra couple of seconds. So looks like someone's birthday. And I look at my watch and I go, all right, happy birthday. Look at the watch for you. And then I fuck it. I'm finished. That's, well, that would make my day, Chip. Mm -hmm. what a, Thanks, babe. What a gift you're giving to people. That's what I try to say. But yeah, <laughs> Uncle Paul's still around. Believe me. Always reminding me how dirty my feet used to be. Oh, geez. Like how that. dirty were his feet, though? I never seen his feet, but he'd always clean mine, and I hated it. It would tickle. <laughs> he clean it with his mouth? Yeah. Hey, let me give you a little kiss on your toes. Let oh, me, no. Let me suck your heel. Your little heel's all dirty and sweaty. Oh, no, I hate that. <laughs> well, at least you had clean feet afterwards. <laughs> I sure did. That's Honestly, you know, yeah. my mother would always say that. Quit complaining, Chip, or your feet are at least clean. Now keep them off the sofa, you know. <laughs> Smart woman. Yeah, she's a marvelous lady, my mother. God, you just have old molester spit on your feet while you're leaving like sticky footprints in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. The whole bed, the whole fucking couch would smell like plaque and tartar. Oh, uh. oh no. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the fucking dog would hide in the other room. <laughs> Apparently, Uncle Paul's fucking dental hygiene was not not was to be desired. Now, how did Lamar like Uncle Paul? How did he react to him? He wouldn't let him in the house. Oh, no. Whoa. Nah, he wouldn't let him in the house because he caught Uncle Paul staring at his crotch. Oh, no. Really? Yeah, oh, no. apparently Uncle Paul heard rumors. Uh, I'm just <laughs> trying to see if it's true. And Lamar fucking <laughs> was holding a Miller Light bottle. He punched Uncle Paul in the mouth. Oh no! With the bottle? Yeah, clenched in his fist. They were at a fucking Fourth of July party. Can Uncle Paul fight? No, no Uncle Paul fell backwards. He broke two vertebrae. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, just, just for looking. Huh? Yeah, correct. yeah. Well, I think he got a little fresh. I think his hand went out. Hey, look, look, look. What is that? <laughs> Looks like a little marsupial in there. You know, <laughs> Lamar can fight. Lamar, yeah, he did about, he did a little bit of time for a parking ticket. He did 11 years. For a parking ticket? <laughs> That's what he oh, wow. said. The, was there also a stabbing? There might have been. Yeah, there was probably something else. My mom said, oh, shit, but don't be Mr. Nosy Body. Well, yeah. he was probably in a red zone. You know, that's exactly what it might have been. Yeah, they'll See, throw the they'll throw the book at you. You think that's what happened? He probably was just parked in the red zone and then all of yeah, a sudden of didn't have money Lamar, for a lawyer. Lamar and your mother wouldn't lie to you, Chip. That's the red right. zone was the body he ran over and the blood was everywhere. <laughs> That's not very nice. He doesn't That's run people over. He's a fine driver. He drives a truck like Fred Sanford. Uh oh, oh yeah. Rusty oh, old truck. Yeah, it's got charm, though. That's what's nice about it. Oh. But does he go around collecting stuff like Fred and Lamont? Yeah, but out of people's houses. Oh. He was going to people's houses. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, it's very thoughtful of him. You know, he's, de you know, decluttering people's houses for him. I said that to him. I'm like, are you sure they're trying to throw that out? You just shut the fuck up and get in there and help. I'm like, but how come there's still dishes in this goddamn? He goes, quiet. They want me to get rid of it. And then we drove away. I'm like, it's two o'clock in the morning. But the anyway, orders were helping them. That's what he told me. That's what he told me. Yeah. And then the police pulled us over and he handed me a gun <laughs> and then he put his arms up and the police attacked me. <laughs> Whoa, what a, what a scoundrel he is. I know, I know. I got 37 <laughs> stitches in the back of my head. So whatever, when, you do, whatever you do, don't stop pointing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his hands went right up. I'm like, Lamar, what are you doing? He goes, wave it in my face. It's funny. I'm like, all right, I did. And the fucking <laughs> cops came up and maced me and hit me with a nightstick. Uh, Lamar doesn't sound like a very good influence, Chip. That's what a lot of people have said, but Reggie is worse. Oh, what, what did Reggie do? <laughs> Reggie used to make me carry stuff. Like he was really big on like balloons. I thought he was like a magician or something, but he would always like fill these balloons with like candy and stuff and make me carry them on the plane. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Where okay. do you have you carry make them? you put them yet? <laughs> well, he would dip them in castor oil. He would dip them in a little castor oil. And yeah. then he would he would put like a fucking an IUD in my rectum. And then he would fucking put like, I, how many? Maybe uh, 17, 18, them little balloons in there. And then he'd fucking tape my hole shut. Oh, you would tape oh. it. What if you had to go to the bathroom? That was that was a problem a couple of times. <laughs> oh, and that was dear. how the police got involved. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Where's it's Reggie better. Now? Just 
he's at my mother's house. Of course he is. Yeah, Even she's testifying me. against me. I told, you. I told her I should be polite. <laughs> Yeah, because I was on a plane. Reggie had put a bunch in the bin, but I didn't know you couldn't eat certain foods. And the next thing you know, my legs shot up in the air. And like I was just, it was a mess. It was a oh. wet, watery mess. In the oh. down balloon. What a situation. I know. Did they, at least put, did they at least put you in first class? No. You were in like the back row, were you? No, I was so angry. I was in the last row by the bathroom, but I kept like trying to push my chair back and it wouldn't go back. <laughs> I started screaming, what the fuck? And that got the flight attendant's attention. <laughs> that would do it. Yup. I'm like, I ain't wearing no fucking mask. Told my ain't wearing one. You know, it got really oh, no. crazy. Everybody got their cell phones out. Yep, that's right. Yeah. They filmed me shitting all over the place. Did the sky marshals come after you? What's that? The sky marshals. What are you what are you on a plane? I don't know who they were. I know the passengers all united and struck me down. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian, you've been reading any good comp books? Uh, I really have not been reading a lot of comics lately. I've been we've been really busy doing video and stuff for Patreon. We do a ton of uh, video projects. Kiss, what do you do you, on your you videos? Like, uh, like for example, we will um, take old movies and we, we basically we rip off Mystery Science Theater. Ah, and, nice. uh, you know, that's, <laughs> that's what we do with some of the videos. Um, we have this guy called Sunday Jeff. He'll like he's just an average guy. He works at a car dealership. But we'll have them do all kinds of different shit, like magic shows and puppet shows and all, you know, just weird shit. Let me ask yeah. you something, because me and Z had done a couple of those things. She goes, chip us in, you bastard. I'm like, babe, come on. We watched Doctor Who and I talked through all of it. And a lot of people say that spurls it. But I'm really enjoying Doctor Who. Where do you, do you doesn't YouTube get mad at your videos? Uh, no, because it's all private. So YouTube doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, we have like our own better. private server. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you just kind of show it to the people. Yep. Oh, that's chill. Do you do little hangouts with the people in Patreon? No, but you know what? I know that we do. Uh, we do. I know you guys do. And uh, I was considering doing it, but it's just like, I'm, I'm curious to see how many people sign on. And if it's like overwhelming, if I can't handle that many people talking to them. Well, you could always just yeah. shut them down and then yeah. preach. Yeah. A lot of times I'll just read biblical verses. And talk about stuff like that. It's really I nice. Yeah, I hadn't considered that, but <laughs> yeah, that's an yeah. idea. They leave quickly, but I mean, we, I know, <laughs> well, you clear it out, the and then the crowd becomes more manageable. That's right. That's what I like to do. You got a Patreon, babe? All kidding aside, thief. I certainly do. Yeah, it. Um, yeah, I got a Patreon. I got more content. Uh, the idea is just flip all my TikTok people on the Patreon, and got a couple podcasts behind the Patreon actually. Now, do people join it? They're starting to. I mean, you know, it's just kind of uh, like TikTok. It's like short videos and stuff. So it's like trying to like figure out, okay, I got this following. How can I best monetize it? So how do I get people from, you know, this platform to the next? Yes. And, you know, the numbers are going up. You so that's the important them. thing. They'll, yeah. they'll make the crossover for you. They will. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, it's just all about like, I'd love to just have my own thing going so I don't have to like chase hollywood for you know no. the rest of my life no let one them, wants to do let that. them chase you down that's exactly. doing the right thing yeah like that one girl who got a show from tiktok oh yeah she got like a yeah. netflix show yeah who's this babe who i can't remember her name i don't think she was i don't think that the show that on netflix was particularly well received but i know she ah. got the show and that's all oh, that that's, matters that's shocking <laughs> yeah i know who doesn't enjoy a 15 second program <laughs> well i think the show was longer chip oh okay misunderstood <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, on Netflix it was. Uh, but she did, I think she did Trump impress impressions or impersonations. I think that's what oh, she was yeah. doing. She was, li remember the girl that would like lip talk to Trump? Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. But now what does she do? Now that Trump's out of office, you, like your whole thing is gone now. <laughs> your whole thing I is know, gone, yeah. and obviously the no. next logical step, Mondale just passed away, unfortunately. <laughs> Who didn't make a living doing Walter Mondale impressions? Believe me, they love me on the road with that. We can go for Ed Lincoln forever. Yeah. Abe Lincoln's an old standby, Mike. There you go. Yep, he is an old standby. I got to be honest, but I fucking the Mondale shit. I hate to lose it, you know, because I would always go on. I know I lost 49, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, he beat me in my home state. Then I would shit on Reagan for 20 minutes, you know. Oh, wow. Blame it on Geraldine Ferraro. There's no shortage of uh, targets when you go political. That's exactly it. Oh, no, never. 
Yeah, you're right, Mike. <laughs> what other impressions do you do on the road, Chip? Oh, I don't know, babe. I mean, I do. You name them and I do them. You name a person, I could probably do them. If I can't do them, I'll say it. Bobby All right, Hart. cool. Could, could you could you do a Joe Biden? No, nah, I can't do him. Oh, okay. Well, it's not, <laughs> it's not that big. Could you do a Kamala Harris? Nah. All right. Can't do her. Paul Giamatti? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I'm thinking of somebody. I'm thinking of my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul Giamatti. Hey, where's the wine? You <laughs> put your little hiney. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> uh, uh, I got a place to put this wine bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we put the little cork in there so nothing flies out. It's a Merlot, Chipper. <laughs> Chip, this podcast is awesome. This should be a sitcom in itself. I know. Trust me. I've been telling everybody. I walk up to people. Spielberg was in a restaurant one time, and I walk up. I'm like, you want to do a reality show about me? What do you say? He's like, he's eating. He's like, oh. <laughs> Surprised he wasn't like immediately like, yes. He's nah, probably but he was probably starstruck. nervous. That's what I was trying to yeah. say, babe. I didn't want to say it, but something tells me he was a little nervous because he was like, what? I'm like, you want to follow me with a big camera. You'll laugh your fucking balls off. Hmm. Yeah, but Screamed Chip, at least he didn't blow you off like Hollywood style and go, have my people talk to your people and all that nonsense I give you. No, he didn't. He screamed, police, call the police. <laughs> fucking the made a D came over. Well, grabbed me by save, my belt. You, you can't save people from their own foolishness, Chip. That's exactly it. And he will rue the day that he passed on Chipperson's reality show. <laughs> yeah, because someone else is going to get it. That's what I keep trying to tell him. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is going to grab because I'll still like write him notes and stuff. I leave a fucking note on his windshield. Uh, hey, someone else is going to grab me if you don't, you know. Does he uh, does he have a restraining order against you, Chip? What's the restraining order? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I was just, you know, no, you can leave babe. a note some things. Wait, what exactly is a restraining order? When you can't come within like 500 feet or 500 yards or whatever of someone. Oh, that, yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> okay. Yes, he does. <laughs> order of protection, it's called as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Order of protection. See, yes, see you just, see, you just charge zip. You, you just. Huh? Shot his memory. <laughs> you did, but the way she said it, I never heard it phrased the other way. Wait, have never. you guys never heard? Have you never heard restraining order? Oh yeah. No. Yes. What's the other oh, term for it? it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, never heard restraining order. I've heard of it. <laughs> have you ever had one filed? Have you ever had one or fifty filed against you? No. You had 50, Oh, my God. I don't know what you're talking to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one or 50. <laughs> now, Brian, Brian, have you ever had one? Uh, no, but I did have an ex-girlfriend's mother pretend that she filed a restraining order against me just to get oh, me no. to stay away. Did it wow. work? Uh, it didn't because uh, her daughter didn't want me to stay away. And I was like, you have to go to the police. They would advise me of it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it didn't work out for her. Did, now, did you and the girl, did you wind up, uh, you know, Thank you, love. Uh, that's one way to put it. That's okay. not the way I would put it. <laughs> I love that, Brian. That's so yeah. cool because one way to put it is like, don't kiss and tell. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. No, he's saying that mm -hmm. Brian's the type of guy that probably likes to fuck with a little fetish. Excuse my language. Let me ask you something, Mike. You and I have never talked about this. When you're making love to a girl, you got any fetishes? No, not at all. Just Nothing? normal stuff. Like what? You gotta have something, Mike. Yeah, yeah. something. Just, <laughs> just anything. I don't. I don't. <laughs> God, don't be shy. What do you like to you, do? You tell, you tell me, red like an apple. I, I, I like to. I don't like to kiss and tell, Chip. All right, well, let me ask you. Like, let's just say you're making love. Will you spank a girl? Yes, absolutely. If she asks for it. If she has to ask for it. Yeah, yeah. That's hot. Girls love that. sound like she's five. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever pet a girl in the barn like Lenny? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Pet the kitty cat. <laughs> You're so well read, Chip. <laughs> he has Lenny from Mice and Men. I know that, that reference. I just got it. Wait. Seconds later, probably. What's Mice and Men? Oh, my God. But for money for my oh, I'm uh, thinking Laverne and Shirley. I'm sorry. No, my no, apologies. No, no. no I'm no, thinking. No. 
Big fucking Lenny and Squiggy fan. They'd always walk in. Me too. Hey, I love them. What? They'd always walk in. Someone would say, "Garbage." Hello. And then fuck up every time. Me and my mom Perfect would go. Time, what are right? the odds, ma? You know. Uh, David Landis. He just passed away. By the way. I know. Yeah. Passed away squiggy, last right? year, I think. Right. What's that? He, I think he died last year sometime. Yeah. He might have. Yeah. Michael McKeon is still going strong. Thank the Lord. Oh, yeah, he's mm-hmm. Chuck and Better Call Saul, right? Oh that's yeah, right. He's, that's right. He's all, he was all, he's awesome. He plays <laughs> Saul's dad, right? Brother, brother. Oh, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, plays his brother. What's your favorite show, babe? Don't be afraid to say it. Whatever it is, Daddy will still be okay. I'm watching a lot of Ozark right now. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, there was a little bit of cuckolding in that, wasn't it? Where his wife was fucking somebody else. Yeah, yeah. That's episode one. Hell yeah! And then the guy gets thrown off a balcony. Fell off the fucking balcony. And the guy from. Uh, Bad Boys was in there too. The original Bad Boys with Sean Penn. Oh, Esther Morales. Guy who played Paco Moreno. Esther Morales. That's right. He was in that he, show. He was in La Bamba too. That's right. Didn't he play in uh, Ozark? The drug dealer? Oh, uh, I, I don't remember. I don't remember Bad Boys. Oh, it's an older movie with Sean Penn. Uh, mm. You know who else is in that chip? Um, Clancy Brown. Remember, he's the guy with the radio that it explodes by his ear. Oh, that's right. He Viking, was Viking. Right? Viking. Yeah, and, and that's the guy who does the voice for Mr. Krabs on uh, SpongeBob. He does a oh, lot of voice acting. I love him. Yeah, he does yeah, a ton he, of shit. He's, he's really awesome. good. I he was also, work. and didn't he fuck Timothy Robbins in the Heine and Shawshank? Oh. <laughs> uh... Or maybe he just uh, yes, let it yes, happen. No, yeah. he, he didn't fuck him in the ass, but he was about to throw him off the roof. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I got that mixed up with Fort Apache. Sorry, there's a scene like that. <laughs> Andy Aiello on the fucking roof. Oh, Seen yeah. Seen a lot of films like that, have you, Chip? <laughs> I sure have. Yeah, I tell you, my mother would always be hashtag sodomy. We would laugh about it after. <laughs> Chip, do you have a message? Do you have a message in cin- cinema? You're awesome. I'm a, what you, what's the word? Uh, Uncle Paul said something. Cinephile. That's, something like that. Uh, that's, that's file is at the end of it for said. sure. Yeah, yeah, they would always yell cinephile and they would throw bricks through the window. I'm like, how come they don't like you watching movies? You, go, you don't understand. Fucking knocking over his camera equipment. <laughs> they don't like you making movies. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it, Brian. I was going to say, Chip, what's he filing? <laughs> hey, Ooh, come on now. Boy. Don't be vulgar. We got to cut Sorry. that out. Sorry. <laughs> God damn it. You got to be pristine and like a nice lady. No, I thought he was like an office worker filing things. He was. Yeah. He was filing his little fingers. I don't want to tell you where. Oh, no. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, your little stinky filing cabinet, Lyle. (laughs) Filing cabinet smells like fish, Lyle. I used to hate that. Let's index this. (laughs) (laughs) All right, listen. I would have to say this has been a fun one. It's been a now, great one. I had a great uh, time. Now, did you enjoy your first time on the program? I had a hoot, and I've been a fan for years and years and years. So this was a big deal for me, Chip. Thanks for having me on. Much obliged. You, you were great. So much fun. Uh, yeah, well, that's Thank what I guys. do, Mike. Of course I was. <laughs> and Fifi was great, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So oh, yeah. Great. Nice job. Very well. Yeah, absolutely. You've definitely passed your audition. Tell oh, the boss thanks. how to do it. Fucking poor boss. <laughs> Fucking panic. I'll coach him. All right. Baby, now, where can ever... people go? Go ahead, baby. You ask. Yeah, no rush. I, I just wanted to ask if you ever uh, think about leaving LA. Or are you sticking it out there still? I'm pretty sure. Sh- I'm pretty sure I'm staying here. This is where I'm going to be. Yeah. She was in Montana. Don't say sticking it out, babe. That's rude. <laughs> Sorry. That's, <laughs> that's rude. Damn it, Zia. <laughs> I was just asking because she was talking about how rough it got there and, and you know, no. didn't want to chase Hollywood and stuff. Okay. I'm just I still curious. like it here, though. I grew up around cold for years and years and years, so I just I just love being here. Oh, Zia's nice from Hawaii warm. too. Fuck. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. And then I lived in LA for seven years, and now I'm in New Jersey, and it's really cold here. Yeah. Just get out of here. Seventy <laughs> degrees today. You. Liar. It was. It was. It's. It's been cold though, and it was seventy, and it was nice, and then it was forty-eight, and that yeah. is not nice. <laughs> yeah, which, which, this afternoon was beautiful out. Then it got frozen. <laughs> yeah, it got cold as shit out of nowhere. Sorry, Chip. That's okay. I'll cut that out. It's a vulgarity there. <laughs> yeah, I don't like you with the rock pillow. That's I, not nice. I need a, I need a chip pillow. Somebody sent me the rock pillow. It was a gift. I would way rather have a chip pillow. I'll get one of those. 
because you sat on the rock's face. I was like, that's Folga. I did, I did but it's comfortable. My kitchen counter is kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get you a Chipperson pillow. I mean, you've Thanks. twisted my arm, babe. I would rather sit on Chip's face. Hey, that's oh. no, I don't like no, that at all. Chip's no. pillow face. <laughs> oh, okay. I had a girl try to put it on my face. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> chip yeah she got offended how much did she weigh she was a smaller girl maybe yeah. 215 mm -hmm. um, okay. 215 yeah, yeah five one <laughs> sexy package <laughs> sexy package rubenesque yes. rubenesque nice yeah. and round yeah like an did, old she speak, painting. Did, did she speak english yeah yeah okay. she did with an accent she sounded like schwarzenegger's maid remember her the one he had the baby with <laughs> Looked like her too. Yeah. Oh, she was lovely. She's a sturdy woman. Sturdy woman. Okay. So Zia, where can everybody see you, babe? Um, if you want to follow me on social media, it's at Zia underscore land on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to check out my Twitch channel, it's twitch.tv slash Zia land. And you can find uh, the It's Eric Nagel podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. And also we go live on Thursday nights at seven, twitch.tv slash It's Eric Nagel. Okay. Bichetti, where can everybody uh, check you out? I was just on Bennington yesterday, which is air now, and I'm so excited, Chip. I'm going to be on next week. It's going to air on Joey Coco Diaz's show. I just did his show. I know him forever. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wants to come on Chipperson. He'd be a great fit. Okay. Uh, Fifi, where can everybody check you out besides TikTok? Fifi Dosh? That's me on TikTok. Also, I'm Fifi Dosh on every social media platform, Twitter and Instagram and everything. And you can check out my Patreon that I got going on, too. And I got a bunch of content behind that. But I'm Fifi Dosh on TikTok. OK, babe. And how about you, Brian? Where can everybody see you like comic book men, stuff like that? Uh, just go to tell them Steve Dave dot com. And then everything is there. The Patreon stuff, the social media, all that shit. OK. And for me, I mean, please, I mean, the website has all the goodies. All right, listen, I guess everybody knows how we close, right? Mike, do you know what we say when we uh, close? Chippy Kaye. Oh, God, it's been a while. Tell them, Zia. For the muckas, because we don't like to use vulgar words here, Mike. Okay, thank you, Zia. I'm Anytime. sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fifi, you're familiar, Brian. Got it. Okay, Fifi, pick a number. We'll count backwards. Oh, uh, let's do seven. Seven, yes. six, six, five, five four, four Chippersons, three, three, two, two Chippersons, one, Chippy Kai, all the mockers. All right, Fifi, thanks for coming on to the program. Mike, Zia, you, Brian, Chipperson says thank you. See y'all later. Thanks, Thanks, thank you, everybody. Bye. All right. Peace.